Hello, my lovely goddess, and welcome to the Goddess Bestie podcast. This is the universe where we dive deeply into the soul's biggest desires and shred off all the layers that used to hold us back from stepping into the ultimate dream life. Allow me to expand your dream life vision like never before. We'll be talking Delilo dreams, pep talks, meditations, affirmations, and all that good, good stuff you've been looking for. If you're here for the long run, feel free to follow the Goddess Bestie podcast and also leave a review if you just can't stop loving on it. Yay! <laughs> Let's dive into the show, shall we? Hello, my loves, and welcome to today's episode. Today, I'm going all in on the signs that you're actually living your soul purpose, no matter what it is. I might use examples from my own experience, and this way you will get a real life glimpse of what living your soul purpose can look like. I will be giving a lot of examples so that you can tune into and maybe recognize where you are truly aligned in your life right now. And some example might resonate, some might not. That does not mean that you're not on the right track. It just means that the universe might be communicating with you differently. Please take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. Bye bye. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, your soul can have a lot of purposes in this lifetime, big and small, and you might not necessarily have a one size fits all soul purpose. It might not be a career, it might be, it could be a hobby too, or something that you love doing as a kid. You might have another purpose this day to day compared to when you were younger. Yeah. Okay, moving into the episode. <laughs> so first of all, I want to give you an example of a soul purpose. I will use my own soul purpose. And um, I truly believe that I have many soul purposes in this lifetime. I have a purpose in helping you discover your soul purpose and helping you believe that anything you desire is literally meant for you. I truly believe that my soul is here in this lifetime to show the world that whatever you have been put on this earth to do is literally for you. <laughs> Another soul purpose that I am so certain about is dancing. And I will now let you in on how I discovered that dancing is a pure part of my soul's highest callings. So in 2020, I fortunately had enough resources to take a two month break from my job, which led me to have a lot of free time. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with my days and I was getting pretty tired of doing puzzles and baking cakes all the time. <laughs> When I was a child, I had started dancing classes a few times, but I always ended up dropping out and not finishing the course because I was afraid of failing and I wasn't good from the start, which, by the way, you are never good from the beginning. But as a kid, I, I just didn't know that and I didn't want to proceed with the lessons. So... In 2020, I still had this feeling that I was missing out on this experience of dancing. And so one day during this work-free break, I put on my favorite music. And by the way, I freaking love music. Like, I think I have um, last year in 2022, I listened to music for 40 days straight on Spotify, not <laughs> straight after each other but you know that's how much time I listen to music so I really love it <laughs> yes so one day I I took the leap and I tried dancing in my own room during this break and I was just dancing freely and trying things out I really did not have any experience 
and as I was done dancing, I was like, what the actual beep? <laughs> this is freaking amazing. I just had this feeling of pure passion inside of me and I couldn't really pinpoint what had happened, but the doors to a whole other universe literally just opened up for me. I remember I was going out to see some friends and I didn't actually feel like leaving the house because I enjoyed dancing so much. And um, shortly after this happened, I bought a membership for an online dancing course and I just started learning a bit of dancing. And I just truly enjoyed doing it. And each moment of dancing was literally putting me into this state of pure bliss until one day I started to doubt myself. I started feeling as if I wasn't good enough, as if I had to be better at dancing than I was. And I so badly wanted to learn how to do choreographies, but I didn't really have the courage to do so because I was afraid of failing. And this was, I think, my memory from childhood where I was just so frustrated that I didn't know how to do it perfectly from day one, which again, you cannot do that. Although I had all of these feelings, I just couldn't stop thinking of dancing. And during some periods, I danced less. For example, if I didn't have time to do it um, or didn't get my alone time, if I was in a relationship and prioritized that over myself, which I'm not going to do that again. I prioritize my alone time now, even though I'm in a relationship. Um, and even though I didn't dance for this period, I just constantly envisioned myself dancing. And I kept longing for it during the times where I didn't, didn't do it. It was this longing to feel free and to express myself and to be passionate and to just feel in tune and happy. And the fact that I couldn't stop thinking of dancing was just a huge sign that I had truly found my passion, my purpose. <laughs> my soul was literally longing for it. I hope this part helped you understand more of what a soul purpose can look like. So now I will move on to the signs that you have found your soul purpose and might be living it. Yes. Sign number one. You feel happy. There is this something that you do and you might do it occasionally, you might do it daily, or you might not have done it for some time for whatever reason. But every time you do this thing or even just think of it, you feel extremely happy and excited. The feelings that are created within you as you do this or these things are just filled with so much, so much passion and joy. Ah. <laughs> you see, this is a true indicator that you have a soul calling here. Number two. Your intuition is just in tune or becoming it. It might become easier for you to tune into what's right for you and what's not. Because as we follow our soul's callings and the random nudges of, for example, oh my God, I feel like dancing. Then as we choose to dance, as this nudge comes, by the way, this nudge is your intuition saying, hey, I want to do this right now because it will make you feel good. <laughs> then your intuition develops and becomes even stronger. And this means that every time you get this little nudge from your intuition and actually follow it, it becomes even easier to recognize it. And slowly and surely it becomes easier and easier for you to make decisions out of your very clever intuition that always knows deep down what's right for you. And so you just become more and more in tune with your highest self every single day. Cool, right? <laughs> Sign number three. 
you feel satisfied as the day comes to an end. So as your day ends and you've done this thing that truly makes you happy to do, you just feel satisfied. For me, as my day comes to an end and I've finished doing a session of dancing, I feel so excited and happy that I actually took the step and did the work and improved my dancing skills. The feeling of satisfaction is just something else. You don't really feel exhausted and drained of energy. You just feel satisfied and energized and ready to jump into bed. Maybe you can't wait till the next day as you're jumping straight back to working on your soul's highest calling the next day. (laughs) It's such a good feeling. (laughs) Sign number four. Things just seem to be going your way. This is really an important one because as you find and accept and pursue your soul's purpose, you will probably start to notice how things are just falling into place. You wake up in a good mood. Maybe your crush texts you. Wink. (laughs) There's this feeling of ease in your daily life. People want to be around your energy. People reach out to you. You radiate this powerful, happy and confident energy that simply just attracts all the opportunities that you have been desiring for so long. Sign number five. You see synchronicities. If you are like me and you are all up in synchronicities, this one is for you. So when you are truly aligned with your soul's purpose, you might start seeing angel numbers or start meeting the right people at the right times or connect with people that are on the same vibrational path as you are. So I'm going to give you an example here because the other day I finished one of the most powerful dancing sessions that I've had in 2023. And I just learned so quickly and danced so beautifully and freely and everything was just making sense for me. So after dancing and finishing the session... By the way, feeling totally satisfied and energized. I found my tarot cards and I asked them, Dear cats, can you please give me a visual card that explains the work I've been doing today? And I kid you not, as I said the word visual inside of my head, a card just flew out and guess which one it was? (laughs) It was the lover's. So the lover's card is all about love, deep connections and attractions. And it embodies this idea of unconditional love and signifies a strong bond either between people. And in my my case, it was a strong bond between me and dancing. What? (laughs) What? Whoa. This was such a powerful synchronicity and indicator that I am on the right path. So if you have a tarot deck, you can try finding it as you've just finished doing that thing that you love doing and try to notice what the cards tell you about this thing because they usually, for me personally, they usually tell me that, hey girl, you are definitely on the right path. (laughs) Sign number six, you're getting big wins and the universe is rewarding you for choosing the path that's right for you. Maybe it's going really well in school or your business is blowing up, you're constantly getting inquiries, people are asking you for advice, you receive a huge opportunity that truly aligns with your soul's purpose, your relationships just flow with ease. You feel more creative than ever. You might be getting ideas and downloads from the universe to do or create the things you've been wanting to do for so long. You just feel happy for no obvious reason. Come up with your own examples too. Things are simply just flowing for you with ease and joy. 
Sign number seven. You just feel good from the inside and out. So the thing about your soul purpose is that you just feel good. It doesn't really matter at all how it looks on the outside. Tuning into your soul purpose is really an inside job. And when you embody it, you just feel so freaking good. You might not be able to pinpoint why, and that's totally fine. Your soul knows why. It doesn't really have to be a look aesthetically pleasing. In fact, you might not even worry about this. Or you might, which I will talk about in a few moments. Sign number eight. Obstacles may arise and know that this is totally normal. Tuning into and living out your soul purpose can be a ride filled with obstacles and that is totally okay. These obstacles are sometimes just the universe saying, hey my love, I know you want this in your life, so I'm just going to make you even stronger by putting a few stones in your shoes. <laughs> and these are really just learning curves that give us the opportunity to expand with our purpose. For example, I have faced obstacles through my dancing journey and these obstacles have held me back from improving with dance until I dove into my subconscious mind and discovered these limiting beliefs that I actually had around dancing. These beliefs were that I wasn't good enough or that I had to be the best from day one, as I told you about earlier. I have also had this extreme fear of just looking stupid when I dance and being afraid that I wasn't able to copy the choreography or, yeah, <laughs> the, and also the fear that I would never become a good dancer. But as I discovered that these were my limiting beliefs, I was able to rewire my sub subconscious mind and as I rewired my subconscious beliefs through, by the way, really powerful meditations, which I will also soon be offering, so stay tuned. <laughs> so as I rewired these beliefs, I just started seeing so much improvement on my dancing journey and it actually wasn't until recently I have uh, before tried to rewire them but recently I dove into some of my very stubborn beliefs and I released them and I kid you not but the growth I've seen on my dancing journey since then is incredible wow <laughs> so the moral of this story is just that obstacles are just indicators from the universe that are shining light on the things that we need to heal in order to move forward with even more ease. I really hope this episode helps you get a sense of what a soul purpose is and that you can hopefully implement all these things into your own life or maybe start recognizing the signs that the universe might have been giving you up until now. May you find and pursue your soul's biggest desires with ease, joy and pure bliss and love. I am sending all my love to you and I can't wait to speak to you again. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Hi, my lovely babe. Thank you so much for tuning into the Goddess Bestie podcast. I am so honored to have you here and creating this universe for you is totally a dream coming true. A real life manifestation, right? <laughs> I'd love to connect with you on socials. So you can find my IGs at Goddess Bestie and at Emily Anna Maria. The links are in this description box too. <laughs> if you are here for the long run, feel free to follow the Goddess Bestie podcast and also leave a review if you just can.
can't stop loving on it. Yay! <laughs> Have the most beautiful time, my love. Until we speak again, big hugs and goddess kisses directly on the cheeks. Mwah. <laughs> Bye!